Well met, travelers. It's been a hell of a day. We are currently walking down a road in the middle of nowhere in Dale, Indiana. Uh, flew in from Atlanta this morning. Went Boy, through... God. Hmm. I'm not quite there yet. Had an absolute nightmare encounter with... Sensors. In the car. Uh, terrible. Didn't help us at all. Ended up not getting a rental car. Had to pay a comical amount of money on a ride share out to near where Holiday World is. Uh, got to our hotel outside of Holiday World only to come to find out there is no Uber or Lyft out here. Uh, only taxi services. Called the taxi service. 50 bucks, not including tip, to go nine miles from here to Holiday World. So uh, we got in touch with some friends at A to Z Thrills over at Holiday World right now. They're going to get off good gravy and come pick us up. Thank you so much to Matt and Daniel there. I appreciate that. We appreciate that. And we were going to walk down here to what we thought was a convenience store just to, uh, you know, get some supplies, some drinks, whatever. Nope, no convenience store. So just walked a good ways, realized in the distance it wasn't there. Now we're turning around and walking back to wait for our ride. I'm really, I guess, I'm just really ready for some, some roller coaster therapy, man. Oh my gosh, okay. I guess we'll, uh, we'll check back in if we don't hear banjos and get murdered out here. We did it. We're finally here. It's been a day, guys, but we're here. We did it. We're inside. After all the utter chaos and insanity that this day has been, we are here at Holiday World for Hollywood Nights. Finally. Finally. We are definitely starting with Voyage. I have waited too long, worked too hard to get here to not start with one of the most legendary roller coasters in the world. Let's go take a voyage, shall we? Now, I won't be able to film on the rides here. I'm gonna respect their park policy. So I may throw some, some stock footage in here, but I couldn't be more hype. I'm so glad y'all are here along with me. <sighs> I'm happy. This is a really cute little park. Really cute. Happy 4th of July. One interesting thing I've already noticed about this park is we've walked through at least a fair amount of it and I've only physically seen like two rides. They must be laid out really well. Uh, they're like hiding in the forest. Are they police for the town of Santa Claus or are they a police force made entirely of Santa Clauses? I like the idea of a police force made entirely of Santa's. Guys, I have waited so long to be here so long and finally the voyage change of plans we ended up near the back of the park in thanksgiving so we're just going to do thunderbird while we're here this will be my first credit at holiday world so scratch what i said a second ago about voyage replace that with thunderbird and then we're gonna figure out what we'll do next. That was incredible. Uh, that launch is way punchier than I was expecting. That, like, you know what, after this morning, I just really needed, I needed that. I needed that coaster therapy. I feel worlds better. I feel like a million bucks. Let's, I think, 
You go ride the voyage for the first time. I'm about to spend way too much money, everybody. Why is it about to get real good? Our guest, A Z Thrills. Well, hey guys. Well, I just went. Television. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what am I about to do, Daniel? Well, you're about to explain what you just did, your 200th poster credit. Oh, nice. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And I chose. Well, actually, the folks at home chose The Voyage. That was the one that got the most votes. Uh, thankfully, over Good Gravy, uh, which I would have been okay with that being my 200. The gravy is good, though, right? Oh, yes. oh it's okay. really good. I haven't tried it's it yet. Good. Sorry, my brain got so scrambled, I accidentally removed you from the frame. <laughs> you know, yeah, to be honest, for me, um, I honestly like Snoopy Soapbox races uh, a bit less than the good gravy. I know he likes uh, Snoopy Soapbox a bit more than Hell yeah. Than Fuck than Snoopy. <laughs> hey, y'all. Future Eric checking in. Yes, I'm bald now. I want to clarify what I said about Snoopy the dog there. That was what we in the business call a joke. I love Snoopy. It's my dad's favorite character in animation. And I would never seriously besmirch that wonderful animated dog. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. I'm excited. Yes, be excited. Get pumped. People travel from far and wide to laugh and scream. That's a masterpiece. Uh, I think probably my new favorite Woody, definitely my top five overall. Got a little free Gatorade. Forceful, beautiful, wonderful, like a good lover. Now that Voyage is dealt with, let's do good gravy. I can't think of a joke. That won't get me demonetized. The outside of this ride is really cute, but also looks like a middle-aged woman with more money than she knows what to do with got really obsessed with the dwarf house. Google that if you don't know what it is. Okay, so good gravy's haunted. That's good to know. All right. The Van Snoodles. Van Snoodles, yep. I think my mom had that breed of dog. Cute. Very cool. I don't know. Um, it looks like it's time we're going to get a TV surgeon. Quickly as possible and pull down on your left arm. Hurry up with that crazy. Let's go next in line. Open your mouth. Well, isn't that a cute little family coaster experience? The gravy is good. You can use a little spice, but it's good. No, for real, that's that's very fun. It's very short, but the queue line theming is incredible. It's it's definitely a good starter coaster. A lot of kids are gonna fall in love with this thing. And I think a lot of people that aren't usually huge on coasters in general, uh, good times. Let's mosey on along. Oh, now there's a cherished memory fresh? for when you die at your <laughs> funeral. Hokey dokey, time to get spooky. Onward into Halloween. Oh, it's 4th of July on the other side of Halloween. That's an efficient use of space. And let's get another new credit. The legend. You're coming too, right? Oh, definitely. No, fo focus. Focus. I have ADHD, not you, Cameron. Focus. focus. On me. Why on earth would you need them, though? The legend is really good. You know, I thought the umbrella would be good for framing, but it's it's not. Hold on, let me, ah, there we go. That's really good. That is really intense and forceful. The airtime pops on that thing are redonkulous, like honky-tonk, but donkey-donk airtime pops. 
Then we ate chicken fingers. They were decent. Now we're gonna go ride the Raven. <laughs> and whatever filler content goes in between there. Had a stick and was just oh, going no. around right into a hornet's nest. And all of a sudden I saw one kid after another go down on their knees. I was running like a mother. I've never run so fast in my life. And I, apparently I had three of them on me, on one shoulder and three of them on another. And they left me, they didn't get me. I, I got away. Stepped on a bumblebee, so that was fun. Oh, that's um, bare, barefoot? Yeah. Ouch. That's a giant uh, robot. How did you miss it? Right. Uh, I Ew. was asleep on the couch and sure enough there was a wasp that was on my that? back. So what is what? I have no idea. Yeah. It's nature. Um, it's nasty. And <laughs> third one, I, well, I almost got stung by a Japanese hornet. I hate those. Oh, oh giant ones? A uh, Japanese hornet. Oh, they have a dive show. Cute. Anyway, uh, I don't know if this song is copyrighted or not. I know this song, but it's very old. It could be public domain, but I'm going to keep talking just in case. It's The Raven. To quote The Raven, please don't staple me on this. Is this like a fight milk reference? Yeah, I did. Hell yeah. I didn't know this was an ace landmark, which makes me feel bad for not liking it at all. I don't like the raven. To quote the raven, never again. Only one credit remains. The children's coaster. That's not, I'm not doing that right now. You're not my dad. Yeah, I'm his dad. You see, that was my dad. In order to complete our credit quest, we must venture back to the 4th of July. They've got some unique flats here. This is interesting. Huh. Okay, so I think the credit is in here, but this area of the park is so dead compared to everywhere else that I'm wondering if there's... Wait, are we in the right place? What's going on here? Are we lost? Are we lost? Yeah, I think so. That's a train. Maybe yeah, that's a train. Over. Now let's cross the bridge. Now that we've come to it. <laughs> what a cute little train. Okay, here is Holly Dog's Fun Town. And I, a grown bearded man, am entering it now. <sighs> Credit's a credit. So that is part completion, and I've put my microphone on now. I've gone full vlogger mode. Kitty coaster's a kitty coaster. What do you want me to say? I mean, it went around twice. It was a credit. I'll never do it again. Let's move on. Yet more really, really interesting flat rides. This is cool to look at. You know what? The sun's starting to go down. We're headed for our special ERT time, and I think for a little while here, I may shut the camera down and just enjoy the atmosphere. I'll check back in with you guys uh, in just a little bit, unless something wild happens. So we just did the uh, ERT time for Splash and Safari. I'm not a big water parks guy. It's the first one I've been to in like 13 years. My eyes are shot from chlorine. Uh, the water is freezer cold. But I did get to ride one ride and it was Mammoth, which is apparently the world's largest or longest water coaster. And that was very fun, but extremely cold. Uh, it was so cold we got in the wave pool afterward and we actually thought it was heated for a second. So that was wild. Uh, oh, also the kitty coaster earlier, it was fine. This just looks nice. I have no other reason for filming this. It just looks nice. Okay. All right, well, I guess it's dinner time. They're saying pizza and salad. These are popping up everywhere. They fed us pizza 
and salad and now Voyage is running trimless and apparently it's incredible. We are beelining. Let's do this. I have water park here now. What happened? What happened? What, what happened? Where are we? I, I think we're still in Haunted World. Did we die? We're back in the Haunted Gravy House. We're gonna see if looks like Good Gravy's a walk on. <laughs> good Gravy is still cute at night, but it's cute at night. That's the difference. It's nighttime now. Uh, Thunderbird may or may not be open. We're gonna go find out. If not, we're gonna get back on Voyage because that trim list should be its own credit. That was. I don't know what happened. I feel like I'm a different personality after I, where am I even walking? Where are we going? Are we ready for the Thunderbird night energy, friends? I am. Dude, this event is crazy. Like everything is a walk on. Hey again, travelers. Sorry I uh, checked out on you last night. Things got a little wild. We started singing Backstreet Boys on Thunderbird and doing all kinds of marathons and running around like crazy people, voyage trimless rides and all that jazz. I'm very tired and now it is the morning of day two. Just like this video began, I join you from a random rural road in the middle of nowhere, Indiana. But that's just the start of today. And it's the end of this video. So make sure to do all those things that make me cringe to say, and you know they do. Please like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell your ex, tell your grandma. Be real annoying about it. Leave me some comments, you know? My voice is a little bit shot, isn't it? A bunny. I missed it. I wish I showed you. With all that being said, my friends, it's good to get some cardio in, huh? Until we meet again, travelers. Godspeed.